All right. Well, I finished questing at level of uh, level 16 and um, was ready to take level 17 and unfortunately messed up on the video. So I already took the level, um, but I can give you a quick recap of what I did because it was pretty straightforward. So the only decisions I had on leveling was the uh, skill uh, skill points. And so I put two, uh, two, two points to disable, which gave me one rank. Two points to search, which gave me one rank, and two points to spot that gave me one rank. So that's really all there was. There's was no uh, feats or stat bonuses. Uh, in terms of enhancements, I added uh, one point to human versatility, melee, and range power. It gives me a 20 action boost. And then I did greater heroism to replace my heroism buff. I, I, I have one point remaining, and I decided I'm just going to wait because my next all the things I want to do next are two points. So I'm going to save that until next uh, level. And I looked uh, quite a bit in the auction house. I didn't find much, but I did get lucky and find a bunch of uh, Zephyr, uh, Zephyr uh, filigree for 10000 each, which is a little more than I wanted to spend. And they're going into the small augment bag I got from my Keepers of the Feather of Favor. And so that's good. That'll be good for level 20. I'm going to, um, the reason I want to go with Zephyr is it has knockdown immunity. Knockdown has been one of the biggest challenges I faced. And it's more of an issue when you solo versus grouping. And so I want to make sure that I have my um, knockdown and immunity first. And then I'll start working on a second weapon that has more offensive type capabilities on it. And then what I'll do is I'll switch to the Zephyr weapon whenever, um, you know, there, there's a, there's a potential for knockdown. Uh, in terms of next level, level 17 is going to be a pretty straightforward level. Um, things are going to be different now because I'm currently at 17, ready to take 18. I'm one experience point short. And so what I'm going to do is run the level 13 quests on Reaper or Elite. And then once I'm done, I'll uh, first want to find out if I'm capped. Uh, if I'm capped, um, meaning that I'm ready to take 19 or one experience point short of taking 19, I'm going to go ahead and level to 18. If I'm not, I'll keep running some 14s, normal and hard, until I am. And then uh, take 18 once I'm able to, once I'm capped uh, for the next level. So when I take 18, I'm going to run, you know, 14, 15, normal and hard until. I'm able to hit 20 and then immediately take 20. So these are going to be very, these next levels are going to be very fast because I've always been one level ahead. Like I'm one experience point away from uh, being able to take 18 now. And so um, effectively that means that I'm just two, le two levels away from 20. So uh, these are going to be short levels. And, um, and the reason I'm doing that is that why waste the experience at 20, even if I'm getting less experience, for running heroic quests at 20, I might as well get some experience for it. Versus just running a bunch of quests for no experience uh, at all. And so uh, the other the other interesting thing is that there was a sale on Warforged for 248 DDO points, which was 75% off, an exceptional deal. So I went ahead and bought that. Uh, but unfortunately, the drawback is that I don't have quite enough money for Epic Destinies yet. Uh, until I get to 3,400 favor. So when I get to 3,400 favor, I'll have over a thousand DDO points, and I'll be able to buy the um, I'll be able to buy buy the epic destinies. So let me just double check on that, make sure that's really the case. So. Um, I'm at 650, and I need a. 995 points so I'll get 100 at 100 at uh, 3,000 favor so that'll be, give me the 758 and then I'll need another 250 beyond that so that's actually quite a bit so yeah I'm quite a bit away from uh, being able to get epic destinies unless they go on sale so I'll be working on my favor but that was sort of a that was sort of a uh, decision I made um, because I wanted to get that Warforged for 75% off 
And uh, I was really hoping that maybe Epic Destiny would go on sale this week and I'd get lucky, but um, it didn't happen. And because I made the decision to get the shared bank, I'm really tight on points. So that's going to be my plan. Um, I'm going to get to, uh, uh, you know, get, get to my, I guess, pretty close to 4,000 favor. I guess maybe even 4,000 favor before I get to it. But um, but then I'll be able to start working on my Epic Destinies. And again, that was just sort of a, a call that I made because the, um, well, let's see. So that gets me to, yeah. So I guess 3,800 is where I'll, I'll need to be to be able to get to a thousand points. So unless it goes on sale, uh, before then I'll be running favor for probably the next two weeks uh, before I have Epic Destinies. Um, and then once I get 3,800 favor, I will um, focus on leveling. So for leveling at 20, my plan is to get the weapon from Keep on the Borderlands as soon as I can. I'll probably do that before, even before I finish my favor. And then um, get my Epic Destinies with favor. And then once I get my Epic Destinies, I plan to, to uh, run, keep on the Borderlands quests, uh, maybe run them daily even until I get, um, you know, enough good level 21 named items to work with uh, for Epic Leveling. All right, so that's, that's basically the recap from... Um, 17 level 16 went great. I think uh, all the all the level 12s were run on Reaper except uh, Two quests that were run on elite I am basically practically to my seventh Reaper point now um, 46 so basically the next quest I run will give me to seven Reaper points next Reaper quest and on crafting I've continued to uh, break down items and I'm all the way up to level 57 now the levels are starting to come a little bit slower uh, more experience is required each level but still I'm I'm gaining levels just simply breaking down items uh, you know at this point so that's it looking forward to level 17 uh, which is going to be a faster level and that's it for the wrap-up